suit. So she has a series of IMUs on her arms. Uh, and when she moves her arms, the robot's movements will then track the movements of her arms. So as she, as she moves her arms around, you can see the robot effectively copies those movements. In her hand, she has uh, a hand controller in each hand. She uses that to control both the movements of the hand itself and also then to do other auxiliary functions once we have programmed in. So in this case, you will hear the robot on the static pedestal. We have applications where we have mounted the robot onto a hydraulic boom truck, onto a single lift, things like that. In that case, we can integrate the controls on the hand control with the controls of that platform. So the robot operator can then operate the platform as well. Um, so you can see in this case, Tara is using the pallet on the hand to operate the thumb. She has a thumb at the hat, which is rotating the thumb on the ground onto the palm, and what we call a thumb flex, which is closer onto the palm, and then a parallel jaw grip that is effectively acting as two fingers. In that way, the grips we can we can achieve with this hand are very similar to a human grip, and that's why we think this, we think this robot is very suitable for tool usage in much the same way that a person is. So she can grip tools both between her fingers, but also, more importantly, against her palm, in the same way that you would grip a tool against your palm. Uh, the images she's seeing through the headset are coming from the stereo cameras on the robot that are positioned relative to its arms, the same way her eyes are positioned relative to her arms. We can now put the robot in those situations and have the operator be at a safe distance and yet still able to carry out the tasks in the same way that the person would normally. So you can see she's moving the torso rotate and the torso forebend. The way she's doing that is with actually a joystick on one of those hand controllers. So everything in the robot, everything in the arms of the robot is dynamic. So that is following her movements based on the movements she's making in the motion capture suit. The hands, and obviously you now you've seen the torso, those are a, a hand control. So we see those as being positional in terms of you know, you're either driving a position of a tool or you're driving the position of the torso to where you're going to do the job. Um, and then you're dynamically using your arms to control the tool in that position. But well, she has a paddle, you can see, for her thumb and for her fingers. As she closes her thumb and fingers around the tool, she gets what we call force feedback to those paddles. So the harder she squeezes, the more the paddles resist that movement. And that way we give her a sensation of how hard she's gripping the tool and she can judge grip. She's operating these tools today. These are all pneumatic tools. She's operating them with a series of foot paddles. However, again, we do have the ability to integrate controls on the hand controller with tools to be able to operate them that way. So the tool she's got in her hand right now is... Thank you.